Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show the Primarian Romans, and also there'll be some Gauls that I'll show. Um, this, what you're looking at here, is my uh, historical battle of Sentinum that I made for this mod. In this battle, the Romans took on a, a coalition of Italian tribes and also some Gauls that were fighting with them. I was uh, inspired to make this a historical battle for my mod by a Prince of Macedon who did a video of a reenactment battle against someone online. In my version, uh, you'll play the Primarian Romans against uh, uh, computer-controlled armies, two computer-controlled armies, one made up of Gauls and the other made up of Samnites. So I also want to show uh, some changes that I made to the Romans to make the Primarian Romans stronger. Now this mod is for vanilla Rome Total War multiplayer so you can play it online against other people even if they don't have the mod installed which means I can't change stats of Hestati and, and Principes to make them stronger. Um, so that's always bothered me about Rome 1 is that the Primarian Romans are, are portrayed so weak when in reality they conquered Macedon, Carthage, the Seleucid Empire, they beat them all with Primarian troops. But uh, if you try and do that in Rome 1 uh, you'll probably get your ass kicked by somebody using sacred bands or royal pikemen or silver shields. So uh, you, I have to try and improve the Primarian Romans without changing any stats. So let me show you what I did. And this battle, there's a little bit of lag, or actually a lot of lag in this battle because there's so many troops. So this unit here is a general's unarmored bodyguard and there is the Roman general right there uh, in command of the troops so you get to see uh, this uh, armored bodyguard or unarmored bodyguard so the unarmored bodyguard uses the same skin as the Roman calf but I changed the Roman calf to Campanian calf uh, the Romans at this battle had a strong force of Campanian cavalry that they held in reserve and uh, helped uh, turn the tide of the battle. So this uh, unit, Roman cav in my mod is now Campanian cav. And on the other side here is a unit of Equites. So these are the Roman Equites. So in this battle, the Roman cavalry consists of one Equite, one Campanian Cav, and one ar unarmored general. Now, these are the big changes I made to the Roman faction. Uh, this here is the Triarii, which stays the same. These are the, the guys that would have been in the third line of the Roman battle line. Um, they were veterans that fought with spears instead of with the gladius and javelins that the Hestati and the Principes carried. So I got them in the back row. In the second row, these are Principes. But really, these are the early legionary cohorts. So if you don't have my mod, this unit would be early legionary cohorts but in my mod I changed the early legionary cohorts to principes which makes your primarian Roman army a little stronger now this unit here in Rome 1 these are Hastati but in my mod I reskinned the principes as Hastati so basically, this unit here is Principes 
reskinned as Hastati, and I changed the name of them also. And I changed it to where if you click on them, they won't say the voice won't say Principes; it'll say Hastati. So the Principes are now Hastati, and the early Legionary cohorts are now Principes. So by doing that, it makes the Primarian Romans a little stronger. Uh, the Principes, or rather the Histadi unit in Rome 1, I've now changed to Sokii Histadi. In Rome 2, there's a unit that's available to the Romans called the Sokii Histadi, and they were basically just allies. They were not Roman. They were uh, Italian allied troops that fought. They would usually be put in the front line or held in reserve or guarding the flanks. Uh, but they were... Uh, this is my uh, portrayal of them. These are Italian... Italians that want to be Romans. And through military service they can, they can become Roman citizens. So they're serving in the Roman armies. But these are, these are now the Histadi. Uh, and then in the front here we have uh, Velites, and these uh, these Velites skins come from the Roma Serectum 2 mod. Uh, so thank you to the Roma Serectum 2 mod to Tony for giving me permission to use some of his skins in my mod. So I think that's all the units for the Romans. So you get it, the early legionary cohorts are now Principes, the Principes are now Histadi, and the Histadi are now Sochii Histadi. So that should make the Roman Primarian troops a little stronger. Um, so when you play against somebody online, they'll be seeing Principes and... Uh, early legionary cohorts, not Hastati and Principes, but uh, in your game it'll look differently. Another thing that's always bothered me about Rome 1 is that they don't really include non-Roman Italians. Um, the Umbrians, Etruscans, and Samnites in this uh, battle, they, they kind of joined forces to try and stop Rome from becoming uh, the most powerful city-state in Italy and uh, the Romans uh, were able to conquer them all. They, the the non-Roman Italians formed an alliance with some Gauls and built up this massive army of like 150,000. But the Romans were very clever in invading the territory of the Umbrians and the Etruscans, which got them to withdraw their forces from that big army to protect their homeland. And so on this day, when the Romans faced the coalition allied forces in Italy, they only had to go against the Samnites and the Gauls. So they were only outnumbered 40,000 to 70,000. And they were still able to defeat the, these allied troops. So uh, I made some changes to portray the non-Roman Italians also. Basically I got rid of the gladiators which I've never liked in Rome 1 because the gladiators didn't fight in big formations. Even the Spartacus army, the, the gladiators were spread out and had command of different areas of the Spartacus army. Uh, they didn't all fight together in a giant unit even though it kind of portrays it that way in the TV show Gladiator or the TV show Spartacus, which I I love. So um, let me show you the changes I made. The gladiators are now um, non-Roman Italians. And this unit here actually are uh, Italian Histadi. This is the version available to the slaves and rebels. So you saw the Roman version of Hastati, this is the uh, slave version. Now this unit here are Italian spearmen. In Rome 1, I think these are Velite gladiators, but I've changed them to Italian spearmen.
and the second row of units these are the Mermillo gladiators and they're now uh, Sam Knight spearmen and this third row these are the Sam Knight gladiators they're now reskinned as Sam Knight swordsmen And the flags that you see here, these little flags and, and the bigger banners, this uh, symbol, these uh, type of symbols represented the Sam Knights. And this unit, this is a unit of Celtic chariots. And this unit here are Italian equites. So this is the equite unit the uh, the slave version and I think this is a general's bodyguard back here which also uses the the same skin as the Italian equites uh, this is the this is the Sam Knight general And on the other side of the battlefield are the allies of the Samnites, which are the Gauls, the Senon Gauls. This first row is made up of skirmishers. The second row is made up of, I think these are, these are the barbarian spearmen. In Rome 2 they have a unit called uh, Celtic Youth and then there is a uh, Germanic Youth and Spartan Youth. It's basically supposed to portray the the younger men of the tribe that would have been sent into battle first trying to prove themselves. So this first row, these are the barbarian spear warbands reskinned as Celtic Youth. and the second unit here these are barbarian mercenaries reskinned as celtic heavy spearmen and in the third line these are uh, naked fanatics i believe and the naked fanatics are reskinned as celtic heavy swordsmen And this is a barbarian warlord. And this is the Celtic uh, general. Let's see if I left out. Uh, there's one more unit back here. This is a uh, barbarian cavalry. so that you can see that this is a really tough battle you're outnumbered uh, really badly playing as Primarian Romans um, I haven't actually won this battle on very hard setting which is how I want to make all my historical battles I want to make it really really hard to win and really challenging um, so I think that's it that's everything I wanted to show still working on the mod the mods not finished stay tuned uh, if you have any suggestions of things I can do to add to this mod and remember it's a vanilla mod for multiplayer so no stats are being changed so that you can still play it online against people that don't have the mod um, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see should I bring the gladiators back and have gladiators in there I don't really like gladiators in Rome 1 but uh if you do, let me know. Maybe I can reskin uh, some other units uh, as gladiators, or at least have one gladiator unit in the game.